Tom Cruise. Obviously. And it's I not often you get Tom Cruise publicly commenting on anything, maybe his latest film or Scientology, but this week he set out on a new Mission Impossible to tackle a burning issue. To that end, we'd like a moment of your time to talk to you about video interpolation. No, it's not global warming or ending world poverty, but instead the thorny problem of how movies appear to look rather odd when broadcast on smart TVs. The unfortunate side effect is that it makes most movies look like they were shot on high-speed video rather than film. Now, this is sometimes referred to as the soap opera effect. Why are you making a big deal out of it and throwing my mental health back in my face? Because you know the look, super smooth rendering and ultra-realistic lighting and movement that you often see in things like Hollyoaks. But look what happened to me. For the last time, I haven't stopped. I wouldn't do that. But some people prefer that look. Yeah. Spaceship arms exactly. is gone, isn't it? And that's with it on. Tom Cruise is asking you to turn it off. If you compare the left side of this slow-mo clip of The Martian, the way Tom Cruise wants you to see it, with the right, you can see the left is jerkier because smoothing is switched off. But when played at the correct speed, the jerkiness looks better, an optical illusion that makes it all look a bit more filmic. Of course, you may be watching this report with motion smoothing on your set, or in SD, or maybe even in black and white and be unable to see any difference. If you're confused, you're not alone. Do most of your customers prefer it on or off? Some prefer it on, some prefer it off, but I'd say a large proportion still prefer it on because it does smooth down the, the motion a little bit and it makes it easier to watch, but some people still want to watch it as the director has intended, so they will turn it off. For those who pour their soul into the look of a film, seeing it broadcast on a smart TV with video interpolation is a depressing experience. I think. We should have a party here tomorrow night. Yeah, your heart sinks. You put in so much time and energy. The director of photography that I work with is you know, so good. They light things beautifully to get that cinematic flavor, that cinematic look. And then, yeah, then you see it looking like a video and you're just like, oh. Of course, this may be all a nifty publicity stunt to get us talking about Tom Cruise's latest film, but many in the industry feel he struck a chord. For them, Smart TVs aren't as clever as they're supposed to be. Dan Rivers, News at 10.